story called The Night of the Alien. Oh, here, let me do my movie voice. The Night of the Aliens from Zebulon. Here we go. Buckle up. It was a cold and stormy night out in the country when the aliens from Zebulon came. That's me in there. My name is Mr. Haney. I'm from Green Acres. I live in that house miles away from the nearest neighbor. You think I'd get lonely, but I got me a friend, pet cat, named Dingbat. It's his job to keep the mice and the roaches out of the house. Is he doing a good job? No, no they're having a house party. <laughs> but he keeps my feet warm. Suddenly, something bright flashed by the window. It scared Big Bat so bad he jumped up and hit his head on the ceiling. <laughs> I went to call the sheriff, tell him some kids are playing with fireworks or something, but the phone was dead. Can y'all say it like that? Dead. <laughs> Yeah, rub some twang on it. Dad. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Little did I know, just 100 feet from the house, a spaceship from Zebulon was landing. A door was opening. A ramp came out. weird aliens from Zebulon waddled off of their ship, wiggling and squirming like they weren't used to Earth's gravity. Meanwhile, back at the house, I was standing there, wondering what to do next, when suddenly, without any warning, <laughs> lightning took out the power. Did I scare anyone? Good. I still got it. <laughs> well, I lit a match. And I got a candle going. And that's when I hear I heard weird noises coming from the roof of the house. <laughs> what do you think that was? <laughs> Aliens from Zebulon. Or really big mice. So I crept up the stairs as quietly as I could, like this. And I opened the door to my room, real careful like. Then suddenly, without any warning, I stepped on Big Bat's tail. He's always getting underfoot. Well, that's not even the scary part. When I looked in my room, I saw it. An alien from Zebulon hanging in my window. And I could hear his voice talking to me. Well, I knew what to do. I ran downstairs, lickety split, and I grabbed my super soaker. But before I could put any water in it, there was a bang, bang, banging at the front door. Aliens at the door. I opened the door, and there they all were, wiggling around, hopping up and down, shaking all over the place. So I yelled out, what? What is it? What do you want? Why are you here? Their leader stepped up. He opened his mouth and he said, can we please use your bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go really bad. It's the 
an emergency. <laughs> they said they'd been traveling through our solar system for a whole solar year and they hadn't had a pit stop at all. <laughs> so I pointed the way to the outhouse and they all ran over to it. <laughs> Well, they all used it and said thank you as they took off. I'm sorry. Phew. I'm glad that's over. Can you imagine if word got out that Earth was just a pit stop? And that is the end of the story. Um,